Hey everyone, in this 4 minute videos for developers season 13, we're going to see how to reuse different components in RPG Edge. In this episode, we're going to see how shared flows works in RPG and how we can reuse policies. Prerequisites for this video, you need RPG Edge account, you can sign up at apg.com slash edge. Let's say you have created a few different proxies like hotels and rooms and guests and you want to apply security for these API proxies. You can do that using policies but you have to attach the policies in each and every API proxy and when you want to change then you have to change at three different places. Instead of that using the concept of shared flows you can able to have a shared flow which is a combination of API policies which you can reuse across the API proxies so that if you want to change then you don't you don't need to change at each and every policy at the API proxy level you just change the shared flow which will be applicable to all the API proxies and you can also have series of policies in the shared flow which will execute when you attach the shared flow to different API proxies let's see how that works in action we're going to create a couple of proxies to demonstrate uh, the shared flow concept so I'm going to create a simple proxy so I'm going to click on plus proxy and I'm going to use reverse proxy first proxy I'm going to name it as uh, shared flow demo one and then I'm going to give the backend as uh, mock target dot dot net slash json and then click on next choose the authorization as pass through and then build and deploy the API proxy let's uh, quickly access the API proxy endpoint and test the proxy so when I as you can see when I access the proxy I just get a simple JSON now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add one more API proxy called sf demo 2 so reverse proxy choose next I'm gonna say sf demo 2 the second API I'm gonna give as http bin.arc slash get then click on next choose pass through click next and build and deploy the API proxy As you can see, this particular proxy just echoes uh, the request that is sent uh, to the target machine. Let's say now you want to attach a simple uh, policy like verify token for these API proxies. You can attach a policy individually to an API proxy. But the problem with individually attaching the policy is basically when you want to change, then you have to change at two different places. Instead of changing at two places, you can create a shared flow and attach shared flow to these proxies. So that if you want to change, you need to change at only one place. So we're going to create a simple shared flow. Click on uh, develop and then click on shared flows to create a shared flow. So I'm going to create a simple shared flow, new shared flow. I'm going to name it as uh, SF uh, shared flow, uh, shared uh, flow, which applies uh, quota. So once you create a shared flow, uh, click on develop to attach the policies. So I'm going to attach quota policy quota one so I'm gonna change uh, this quota policy I'm gonna remove type calendar and I'm gonna say allow count to distributed to true and synchronous to true and then uh, interval to minute and then delete start time under synchronous configuration so before you use the shared flow you need to deploy to the environment so make sure you deploy to the environment and then we're going to attach the shared flow using full flow callouts so I'm gonna click on uh, SF demo to pre flow plus step to attach the shared flow. So I'm gonna use a flow callout. So I'm gonna use the flow callout and select the shared flow that we have created. That is SF shared quota, and then click on add. Similarly, the other API proxy SF demo one. I'm gonna attach the shared flow SF demo one. Attach the flow callout SF shared flow, and then save the API proxies. So click on trace on both the API proxies to see in action and then now let's make an API call so SF demo 1 should allow two calls first call second call and third call failed similarly SF demo 2 will allow two calls and then third call will fail there you go two calls and one uh, third call will fail two calls and third call fail let's say now we want to change the quota so instead of changing at two different places I'm gonna change directly in the shared flow so I'm gonna update the count to four save now the quota now four calls is allowed to both the api proxies that's how shared flows works in rpg edge and you can able to reuse the policies subscribe to youtube channel and share the videos with your friends and colleagues